What's up, comic and pop culture fans? Today, we're checking out Sideshow's exclusive Robin Premium Format. As always, guys, while we do the review, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I just unboxed this a few hours ago, and I am in love with the piece. However, I do have one major reservation. I have to say up front, this is one of my favorite poses I have in my entire collection. It's also one of my favorite colored statues I have in my entire collection. But, I really wish there wasn't a but, but there is going to be a but. Normally, at this point, I go into the backstory of the character, but the problem is, this statue has a little bit of an identity crisis. What I mean by that is, it's clearly Robin, but is it Damian Wayne, the fourth Robin? Or is it Tim Drake, the third Robin? The problem is, it's kind of both. Right off the bat, I will tell you that this is Tim Drake's costume from the early 90s. Very clearly, it is his design. It is his R on his chest. So let's make the assumption that this is Tim Drake. Well, that would work because this is Tim Drake's costume. This is Tim Drake's R logo on his chest, and it's clearly the outfit used from the 90s. What makes it not Tim Drake is there's no facial features that show any sort of smirk or something kind of funny, but more along the lines of his character. It is a different eye mask than what Tim Drake has. The hair is not quite Tim Drake, but most importantly and unfortunately, this statue is tiny and is clearly modeled after the body of a young boy. I'm thinking this is probably modeled after Damian Wayne. Okay, so let's assume this is Damian Wayne. After all, they give you another head sculpt that looks a little bit more Damian-ish with a hood, and it does come with a katana, which works with the whole being born from Talia al Ghul. But if you assume that this is Damian Wayne, why is he wearing Tim Drake's costume? He's not wearing his more Asian-inspired robes and cowl. He doesn't have his R on the chest. It is Tim Drake's R. If it really was Damien, he would have some sort of smirk or some sort of facial feature portraying his brattiness more. So what I think they did is they took Damien Wayne and Tim Drake and they put them together in a blender and we got Damien Drake. Now, I think this statue as Robin is amazing. The problem is, this is a Robin statue. Sideshow did not specifically choose one character. Sideshow wanted to make it so that you could make it either Tim or Damien, but the problem with that is those characters, while very similar looking, have things that are just too different to make it work. Perhaps if you had a different switch out R and a switch out outfit, you could have made this Damien and you could have made this Tim, but the fact is, the body is too childish and small to ever possibly be Tim Drake. So for me personally, it is going to be very hard, I'll be honest, to get over the fact that this is Robin, a character completely made up by Sideshow. It's just a little too ambiguous for me, and because of that, that is definitely an issue for me, which is a shame, because I love the statue. I think the statue on its own, if you didn't know this about the characters, I think you would love it. I think it's fantastic. So with that major gripe out of the way, let's dive into the review of this piece. Let's kick it off, pun intended, with the base. It's actually only about an inch high, but guys, look at the detail on the floorboards there. The wood grain, look at the different colors they mixed in there. It looks really great. There's actually like little pinches of green in there too, almost looking like a wood rot. I believe this is supposed to be in like kind of an ace chemical setting, you know, the origin of Joker. The barrel is dark too, but they successfully made it different. That is unbelievably realistic rust. And look at the, it almost looks like a kind of a weathered and like moldy crate there with hyper realistic rust. I am incredibly impressed by this barrel. I also think that that cut in the metal looks very realistic to actual cuts in metal. I think that goo, which they used as like a resin, looks like it was like a shot open or something, looks amazing. Again, man, those, those, those corners on that metal cut is great. I just think it's a very different and very effective base. Really cool. I also do like the bullet 
shots into the barrel, although the tips of some of these things do dip up a little bit. Hopefully, maybe I'll be able to get that out. But I like how it looks like it's realistically tumbling. It's leaning forward and pushing this one board up and cracking it. It just... Talk about a base or a statue as a whole that looks like it's truly in motion. Y'all know I like a base with a minimal footprint. I do really like the difference in the wood grain texture and the extremely well done rust technique on the actual barrel itself. I think the, I guess you would call it like ace chemicals shooting out of the side of it looks fantastic. I'm glad they chose a resin to do that with. It's just a big win for me. I'm gonna give this base a 10 out of 10. Next, let's talk about the paint, the sculpt, and the colors. We're starting along the back here, and I did choose to do the head sculpt that does contain the hood, which I think matches with the cape nicely. I uh, did mention that that kind of more solidifies him as Damian Wayne rather than Tim Drake, but it is an option that you can choose to get rid of. Uh, they, it looks like a much more realistic leather to me. I think that's come a long way. Look at that beautiful yellow on the interior there. I think the boots are really impressive. Good detail on those. Great color on the green pants. And I like how it's different than this color down here. Very nice. There's getting too close to uh, that Gucci shot there. But the bottom of the boots look good. Good detail. Look, here's where you can really tell where it looks like Damian Wayne. I just wish that he had a more of a scowl if it truly was Damian. I think that's the head sculpt that's definitely supposed to be more Damien. Again though, that's Tim Drake's logo. That is not Damien's logo. The belt looks actually a little surprisingly weak. Some detail I think is lacking in there. But those reds are undeniable. Taking a look at that head sculpt here. That's Damien Wayne, guys. Come on, look at that hair. That almost anime style hair. I do have him with the katana, which works better for the Damien rather than Tim. And I wanted to get this little side shot here because I wanted to show you the musculature is very childish, but very realistic and good. Great chest plate there. Just all around really great. This is my preferred head sculpt, I do think. Well, I don't think. I know. That's the preferred head sculpt. Even though both head sculpts aren't perfect, I would actually prefer this to have a scowl. I think that would be more realistic to Damien. Let's get a quick look at Tim. Now again, if this is supposed to be the Tim, it is not the right eye mask. He does not have those tipped corners at the top there. Uh, the hair looks okay. I would have preferred it blowing in the back um, just because he's leaning forward. I don't think his hair would be drooping down like that if he was jumping over a barrel. That is the Tim Drake staff. Looks really good. That was one of my favorite weapons of his when I used to read his books in the 90s. Well, it's no secret, I love the composition of this piece. I love that it's the darker browns and rust colors, and it pulls your eye up to the main feature, which is our unnamed Robin here. Absolutely beautiful. The use of the yellow is so important next to the rest of my collection, which is a lot of dark colors. He is a nicely needed pop to my collection. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a really good statue. It even looks better in person, too. We're gonna give that paint the solid eight out of 10. We're gonna give the sculpt the nine out of 10. And we're gonna finish it off with the colors at a very strong 10 out of 10. I'd give it an 11 if I could. I'm really excited to talk about the design and the pose of this piece. I really like how it fits in. At first, I almost had this barrel backwards, but I did figure it out, it made it nice and easy for me. He's extremely snug into that barrel. He goes straight down, so you know, don't try to get him in on the side. He goes straight down into the barrel. Looks absolutely great. I know some people don't love uh, styled capes. They prefer sculpted capes. I like a minimal styled cape, and because this is so minimal, it definitely works for me. It is accurate to the Robin costume, and it looks good, and you can do whatever you want with it. I only played with it for a little bit, but I, I kind of like how it, the way it is, you know? Looks good to me. It's a little bit tricky in that he really looks his best somewhere in between these angles right here. So he doesn't look good if you're on this side of the room. You definitely want to keep him there. That just, that looks fantastic. And again, the pose 
they're having him leaping over a barrel and it's a realistic you can tell that he's being shot at with these uh, explosions coming out of the barrel man i think it looks amazing Again, I mentioned at the start of this video that I think this is one of the best poses I have. It is extremely dynamic. There's not much more I could have asked for. This hits the nail on the head, guys. So we're going to give the pose a 10 out of 10. And we're going to give that design the 10 out of 10. Good job, Sideshow. Next up, we're going to talk about coolness and likeness. It is not clear if it's Tim Drake. It is not clear if it's Damian Wayne because it has attributes of both. They should have just committed to one. Likeness is going to get dinged here. But the coolness is awesome. You know, he's leaping over the barrel. It's getting shot at. It is a smaller piece, but it's still able to have a big presence with it. And you can customize it however you want. If you want him to have the Tim Drake 90s bow staff, or if you want to have the Dame Wayne Katana. Either way, it's your choice, and it looks good either way. I'm very surprised such a small piece can have such a cool footprint. But because of that, we're going to give the coolness a 9 out of 10. Very solid. I think where they went so wrong with the likeness is they should have just done all four Robins. They should have done Nightwing, Jason Tata's Red Hood, a very clear defined Tim Drake, and a clear defined Damian Wayne. Because this is just an amalgamation of everything, I think the best score I can give it is a 1 out of 10 for likeness. If you don't know anything about Robin, it's a 10 out of 10 because it looks like a what a Robin should look like. But unfortunately, I can't grade it like that. This is supposed to be based on a character. All right, let's talk about proportions. Uh, it is a minimal base. If you do the bow staff, it can be a little long. The katana goes up a little bit higher where the bow staff goes more parallel to the uh, surface that it is on. Um, but it is not particularly wide, not particularly deep. Not particularly tall. This is a cool piece because you can kind of fit it into a spot maybe that's just making room in your collection. Maybe you could squeeze it in there. And I think I love it because of that. Uh, the biggest thing is he's very small. It is a child's body. I wouldn't even say it's a teenager's body. It's definitely a kid's, uh, which further proves that this is Damian Wayne, even though they made it with Tim's costume, whatever. Maybe it's Damian Wayne borrowing Tim's costume from the 90s. I, I don't know. Anyway, so if this were Damian Wayne, I would say the proportions are perfect uh, because it's unknown. I do think it's a little bit on the small side. Um, yeah, so we're going to give the proportions, despite everything being just right, the concept does affect it here. We are going to give it a 6 out of 10. Lastly, we're going to talk about the price, and this was just a hair over $500. This is exactly what a statue of this size, I think, what it should cost. Some people would still consider this pretty expensive, and it is expensive, especially since everything is relative. I do consider this to be an expensive piece, but everything's an expensive piece, right? This, I did think, was a good deal, but for whatever reason, I got nailed on the tax for this piece, not to mention my shipping was like $70, and the funny thing is, I've had boxes two times the size of this come from Sideshow for like 50 bucks. So I don't know why this was like an extra $25 more. That, that was a little weird. But the initial statue itself, hey, just over 500 that's perfect. We gotta give it the 10 out of 10. So guys, before we give him his final score, I want you to think about everything I said. It's essentially a near perfect, if not perfect statue to some people's eyes, but there is a gaping flaw of it is not clear on who it is. In fact, it's so not clear that it makes it its own Robin, almost like a new character they created. Now, because of that, is that going to be a problem in my collection? Absolutely. Unfortunately, it's going to be really tough for me to swallow that pill looking at him just saying, is it just a really, 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 really young Tim Drake? Is it just Damian Wayne borrowing Tim's old, old, old costume? I'll never know. It's, it's just not quite right. I think I am going to keep it because the colors are just so necessary for my collection. I mean, my God, these yellows are beautiful. This lime green is amazing i'm gonna have, I'll, maybe i'll check back with you guys in a month we'll see how i feel about it let's give him his final score of that was one of the most anticipated statues of 2020 for sure 
I do have a custom Damian Wayne coming in. Maybe I'll wait until I get that and I'll do a little compare and contrast. Part of me was hoping and praying that this was going to look a little bit bigger so that I could have it be Tim Drake to go next to my Damian Wayne. But I think due to the size of them, I think I'm going to have two Damians, to be honest with you. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the Sideshow Robin Premium Format. If you're not picky, this could be one of the best statues you've ever seen. But let me know in the comments, are you able to get over the fact that it is not clear on what Robin it is? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, my friends, keep on collecting.